Why is my dog losing hair? A thick, glossy coat indicates that your beloved pet is hale and hearty. So, it can be worrisome to see your pup losing hair, and most of the time, it is difficult to know why. Many reasons cause hair loss in dogs, and it is likely because of one of the nine common reasons listed below. 1. Seasonal shedding. Many dogs shed throughout the year as the old and damaged hairs are replaced with new, healthier ones. But although shedding is a normal process, the amount and frequency of the shedding depend upon the breed. Some breeds shed prolifically, while others, not so much. Double-coated dogs, such as the Siberian Husky and Pomeranian, shed their thick and heavy winter undercoats come spring. 2. Food and environmental allergens. Like us, our canine companions may develop adverse allergic reactions to certain food ingredients and environmental irritants. Typical symptoms of allergies are redness, itching, and hair loss due to excessive scratching. If you suspect that your pup has food allergies, you may put your pet on a food trial with a limited ingredient meal plan to rule out the allergens. Feeding your pet a hypoallergenic prescription formula is also ideal. As for environmental allergies, the vet can only prescribe topical or oral medications to keep the symptoms at bay. 3. Flea Dermatitis. Flea bites are also a frequent trigger for hair loss in dogs. Fleas have anticoagulant properties in their saliva to make it easier for them to feed on blood. When a flea is done feeding, it leaves trace amounts of its saliva on the skin, which causes an allergic reaction. 4. Acute Moist Dermatitis. Commonly known as hot spots, these are itchy and painful skin lesions that resulted from self-trauma. Hot spots are always damp and inflamed. Anything from allergies to stress can be the starting point, and constant licking, biting, and scratching only increases the risk of a secondary bacterial infection. 5. Mange. Mange causes dogs to scratch their skin excessively to the point of losing hair and getting bacterial skin infections. Dogs can pick up mites from outdoors, but they are often passed from their mother. A small number of these microscopic creatures live on the hair follicles and skin surface of skin. However, a compromised immune system causes these mites to proliferate. There are two kinds of mange, sarcoptic and demodex. Sarcoptic mites, commonly known as scabies, burrow and chew on the skin. Since scabies is zoonotic, you need to address this problem right away with the help of your vet. While Demodex mange isn't contagious, it can lead to ocular problems and thickened skin. 6. Fungal infections. Fungal infections, such as in the case of ringworm, can also be attributed to hair loss. While bacteria and yeast normally inhabit the skin, they grow out of control when the immune system is weakened. Since ringworm is highly contagious between pets and humans, you need to deal with it right away with the help of your veterinarian. Likewise, you need to quarantine your pet and decontaminate your house. Hair that has shed from your pooch may contain spores that remain contagious for several months. 7. Pressure Sores. Pressure sores are round or oval hyperkeratotic plaques overlying pressure points, such as the elbows, hips, buttocks, or hocks. Calluses appear as a result of repeated trauma, such as when your dog slams down on the cool hard floor. The skin thickens to protect the bone that hits the ground. Pressure sores are common among senior dogs, but large and giant breeds seem to be more at risk. The best form of prevention is to give your dog an orthopedic bed that can support his weight and provide him comfort at the same time. Decubital ulcers, on the other hand, are similar to bed sores in humans. It is caused when a dog sleeps in one position for too long. Constant pressure limits blood flow, resulting in dead skin tissues. An ulcer can be difficult to treat, and it can lead to a bacterial infection if it gets deep. 8. Cushing's disease. Cushing's disease is a common problem in dogs. This disease is caused when a dog's adrenal gland produces too much cortisol. Among its clinical symptoms include a swollen belly, hair loss, and darkening of the skin. Fortunately, this problem can be treated successfully. 9. Hormonal changes. Hormonal changes cause hair loss. 
dogs may lose hair after they are neutered due to an increase in testosterone. Pregnancy and lactation also deplete dogs of calcium and other minerals needed for a healthy coat. Mommy dogs will often shed fur after giving birth or during the nursing period. That is why it is important to feed a pregnant or lactating pooch a special diet that addresses her needs. Hormonal conditions, such as hypothyroidism, also cause hair loss. A dog with hypothyroidism doesn't produce enough hormones called thyroxine, which controls metabolism. As such, it affects your dog's skin and coat. While this condition affects all breeds, it is more prevalent in boxers, cocker spaniels, dachshunds, doberman pinchers, golden retrievers, and irish setters. Summary. If something on your dog's skin is causing him distress, he will attempt to alleviate the discomfort by scratching and licking. Therefore, any skin condition that causes itching may eventually lead to hair loss. Hair loss may also indicate an underlying illness, so keep up with regular grooming so that you can identify the problem early on. Nutritional deficiencies and certain health conditions can also cause hair loss in our canine companions. To keep your pup bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, provide him with high-quality food. Supplementing his diet with omega-rich fish oil also helps. Oh, 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 oh,